In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure your iPhone or iPad to connect to our email servers. First, you're going to want to press on the settings icon. Then scroll down to where it says mail, contacts, calendars and press on that. And then press on add account. On this next page, you'll see a list of common email services people use. Just scroll down to the bottom and press other. Then press Add Mail Account. In the Name field, enter in your name. In the Email field, enter in the email address you wish to connect to. In the Password field, enter in the password you used when you created that email account. When you're done entering in all your details, press on Next. Our email servers support both IMAP and POP protocols. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be using the POP protocol. Scroll down to the Incoming Mail Server heading and in the hostname field, type in pop.yourdomain. In this example, my domain name is example.au.com, so I'm entering in pop.example.au.com. For the username field, enter in your full email address. My email address in this tutorial is johnsmith at example.au.com. In the password field, enter in the same password that you selected when you created the email account. When you're done entering in all those details, scroll further down to the outgoing mail server heading. In the hostname field, enter smtp.yourdomainname. So again, in this example, my domain name is example.au.com, so I'm entering in smtp.example.au.com. In the username field, again type in your full email address. My email address is johnsmith at example.au.com. So that's what I'm entering into the username field. Again, in the password field, retype the same password you selected when you created your email account. When you're done entering in all your details, press on Save. You may get a pop-up saying, cannot verify server identity, or cannot connect using SSL. The reason why this notice might pop up on your iPhone or iPad is because your device is trying to connect to our mail servers via SSL using your specific domain name. Because our mail server is a shared mail server, the SSL certificate on the server will not match your domain name specifically. If this screen appears when you're configuring your device, simply press continue. Once your device is finished verifying all the settings, you'll be taken back to the mail contacts and calendars page. From here, you can simply go back to the home page and start using your emails. But we recommend double checking all your settings. To do this, look for the account you just created under the accounts heading. Once located, press on it. From here, you'll be able to see your pop account information, your incoming mail server, and if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll see outgoing mail server, SMTP, and an advanced option. This is where we're going to double check all our SMTP and incoming mail server settings. So first press on SMTP. You'll see a list of all your different outgoing mail servers on your device. Find the outgoing mail server that you just configured following this tutorial and press on that one. On this next page, you'll see all your outgoing mail server settings. Our outgoing mail server supports both SSL and non-SSL connections. To make an SSL connection to our outgoing mail server, make sure that SSL is turned on, authentication is set to password, and the server port is set to 465. If wanting to make a non-SSL connection to our outgoing mail server, make sure that SSL is turned off, authentication is set to password, and the server port is 587. Once you've selected your settings, press on Done. You'll then be brought back to the email configuration page. Just scroll down to the bottom and press on Advanced. From the Advanced page, you'll be able to configure your incoming mail server settings. Again, our incoming mail servers support both SSL and non-SSL connections. If you wish to make an SSL connection, make sure that SSL is turned on, authentication is set to password, and your server port is set to 995. If making a non-SSL connection, Make sure that SSL is turned off, authentication is set to password, and your server port is 110. It's up to you to how long you want to keep your emails on the server, so with the other settings on that page, feel free to select whatever you like. Once you're done making all your choices, you can go back to the home screen and start using your emails. 
that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a good day.